So, first stop today is Dick's. Ah. Nice little rainy day. I don't know if y'all can see the rain. Yeah, it's, it's coming down. Everybody here collecting. You already know who that is. Brillo pad right there. <laughs> I do like this jacket though. I do like that. Y'all already know who this fucking whatever the fuck is. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Special guest. Hello. Hello. Hi. So we're going to go in and pick up a couple pairs before we make our next stop later on today. Rain ain't going to stop nobody. Y'all know the vibe. Got the kicks on fire shirt on. I, put, I took a video, uh, took a picture of this and posted it on my Instagram a while back. I needed something to match these uh, kicks I'm wearing today. Got the 2014 zone, 2014 fire red three zone. Mm. If y'all not following, if y'all not following me or Living Three on Instagram, y'all need to start doing that. We are doing a free raffle. After this video is posted, this coming week, I want to say Wednesday. Y'all need to be on there on our live because that's when we're going to do it. And tell me the details about it, Zeus. All right, so for the first raffle, I'll probably give a free pair of shoes. Uh, Luke, maybe give a free pair of shoes, some uh, merch from the clothing brand. I got a pair I could throw in there. And then as far as the next raffle, we got a pay raffle coming up uh, for the Jackie Robinson Dunks. Uh, you'll enter, it'll be $25, either Zelle or Cash App. After that $25 is paid, you'll uh, be entered to either win Jackie Robinson's or two other prizes. And by the way, anybody that's done our past raffles know that you don't have to worry about shipping or nothing like that. And that's all taken care of on our end. But y'all got to be on that on that live. If you're not watching the live the day of, you're not going to be accepted for the raffle. Plain and simple. And I'm going to post more details about it on my Instagram page later on today if you guys are already following me. This video will be up later on tonight after I'm done sneaker shopping. We are at our second stop now. Second and final stop for the day. The weather has calmed down a little bit, which is a good thing. So let's go inside and see what's see what's happening. What up? Alright. It's empty and quiet as hell in here. So they still got the sixes sitting on the wall. I don't know how much they have in stock. Citrus still here. 13s, 12s. These made it to the wall. Got the PSGs up there. And they got them Yeezys on there. Oh, we got a pair of dunks in the house. Dunks are looking right. Crazy, crazy to see stuff sitting in here. So we got the second batch secured. Got to make one more stop before I make it home. All right, so we here at GameStop. Y'all know what time it is. I almost forgot that 2K released. So I'm going to pick up 2K. I picked up Madden when it came out too, but I ain't even had time to play it. But I got to get 2K this time because I need that collector's edition. So, got the collector's edition, but not the whole bundle. I am really unhappy right now. I don't even care if the address is showing on this, because this is not my address. This is GameStop's address. But dang, man. All right, y'all. We back. We back. We back. Made it back home. Take this hoodie off. I'm not outside no more. Out of the rain. I do apologize if you guys hear a little bit of noise in the back. It's still um it's still raining outside. Let's get into it though. So before I even talk about the sneakers I picked up, I'm gonna have a quick little rant right session right now. So as y'all know, I went to GameStop to pick up the new NBA live uh, live NBA 2K23 today. And I reserved the big bundle, right? The $200 one. And they didn't have the game that I reserved. Like it's supposed to have the, the package on there with the Jordan 
the Jordan uh, jersey, you know, the sleeves. The game is supposed to come out of the sleeve and stuff. So I was pissed about that. I know it wasn't the manager's fault. GameStop messed up. So she did a deal with me. So she was like, I got the other stuff that comes with it, like the picture and, you know, the plaque and all that. She was like, I can give you those today. And as soon as the game come in with the rest of the stuff that you actually purchase with it, you know, like the, you get VC, I get, you get a NBA league pass, whole bunch of other stuff. She was like, I'll call you when that come in. So she gave me my receipt. She wrote a note on it and stuff. So when she calls me and I come to pick it up, it'll be there waiting on me. Let me put this receipt over here. It'll be there for me to pick up. And she was like, I'm gonna give you the game today. So just switch this game out for the actual game that you that you reserve and stuff. So she's working with me, man. I mean, I didn't want, I don't, I'm not keeping this. You know, I got nothing against Devin Booker. I'm not keeping this though. I'm gonna get my Jordan game. Like I'm a fan of Jordan. That's why I reserved, you know, pre-ordered the one that I, re I pre-ordered what I wanted, you know? So you damn right, I'm gonna be by my phone waiting on that phone call to get my, uh, 2k game with the Jordan package you know took that kind of person but like I said it's not her fault I didn't get mad at her when I was in the store I was just disappointed so another reason why I did take it personal because I was like look I ain't played 2k since man it's been about four or five years that I ain't played 2k I took a break from it so I wanted this to be special I'm like man I'm I'm, I'm ending my strike I'm gonna play 2k this year 2K23, Jordan number 23, it was a big deal for me, but it's all good. I'm gonna get it, you know, moving right along. But I'm glad I did get the pack, you know, the other stuff that I spent my money on. And uh, I was going to take it out. Ooh, we already see it now. I'm gonna take it out with the box. Yes. Yeah. All right, y'all. So. This is gonna be the other ticket in acrylic. I'm gonna take that out last. Next, whatever. The Highland Mint. Let's get this, let's move this box out of here first. This is nice. A little dust on it from the car, but that's okay. This says, the 3D art block collection is created from a unique printing process on acrylic and proudly made in the USA. This is cool, y'all. National Basketball Association, the Highland Mint. That's cool. So I'll keep that right there. This is definitely going up on the wall. This Jordan picture is definitely going on the wall. Mint and memories that last a lifetime. Highland Mint, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. You know, I'm, a, I'm, one, of, I'm one of those guys that appreciate art. So let's see what else we got. Gotta be careful taking this out. I don't wanna mess the, the, the packaging up. Packaging is really nice how they packaged it. Ooh. Six-time NBA champion. Snaps. Look at this. That's the other, you know, little ticket that they give you. Six-time NBA champion Jordan. You know, like I said, y'all, I, I, I wanted this to be pretty epic this time around. Me picking up NBA 2K and stuff like that. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with these two things. I really am. I really am. You know, but uh. Moving right along, today was uh, the release for the Fiery Red 3s. I got so much dust on this table from those boxes. Ugh. About to break my 2K23 game. <laughs> I got, uh, move, ah, I can't even talk. Moving right along, today was the release for the Jordan 3s, Fiery Red 3s today. And we splurged a little bit. We 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 kind of we kind of did a thing. We did a we did a thing thing. So well, we went to multiple stores, finish line and dicks. I didn't hit on champs and Foot Locker, so I didn't 
I didn't stop over there today at those stores. But Dick's did me right today, you know. Got the notification that they was doing uh, wristbands. So, went and picked up over there at Dick's. Got a size for me, the wife and the kid. And the other, other, other extras that I got, uh, I probably would check and see if one of the homeboys need them. Or if not, I just make my money back, you know, no harm, no foul. I'm not even really looking to make a profit. I'm just, you know, doing what I usually do. So we picked up five pairs. Like I said, we kind of, kind of splurged a little bit today, you know, but, uh, what size is that's 11 and a half. I'm going to put all these away and we're going to just go on and pull out We're going to just go on and pull out these fire red threes. So before I do that, you guys, I am going to get the other pair, the 2014s that I was wearing today as well. 2014s, as you know, the 2014 pair did not have a Nike sign on the back. Elephant print was, was pretty much black. And you see my pair, they're still in good condition. I, you know, I, I try to take care of my shoes as best as I can. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I picked them up because I liked them. And it was, you know, similar to the OGs. It wasn't the OG, but it's similar to the OGs. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what come inside. I almost forgot to talk about that. So for the 2014 pair, they came with this Jordan tab. I know it looked kind of old, you know, again, these, these are 2014 guys. You know, they're pretty old. Not that old, but they got a little age on them. It came with the card, right? Regular elephant print paper. So that's that, cut and dry. And that's the labeling. I, as you know, some of my sneakers, I do put uh, stickers on them because I got so many sneakers in this room and is it, it does get to the point sometimes, you guys, that it's difficult for me to locate which shoe I want. I, I don't want to have to waste my time opening up every box to see which shoe is which. So that's why I do the stickers because it helps me figure out which pair of sneakers I'm wearing. So any event that I'm getting ready to go out, I don't have wifey rushing me saying, hurry up, hurry up. You're taking forever to figure out which pair of shoes you want to wear or something like that. Okay, so now we get to these bad boys. 2022 Fire Red 3s. Print elephant, print elephant, elephant print comes with elephant print and this other paper. You get another card in here as well, just like 2014 pair. Talk about the shoe, you know, the whole makeup of it. I think that's pretty cool. Also, here we are. Also, also, nice and fresh. These guys are very similar to each other, honestly, guys. 2014 pair is not bad. I mean, I've worn it more than a few times. It's not a bad pair. Put that back on. So there you have it, side by side, you guys. They look very similar. As you see, the elephant print is black on here. This one has the Nike sign on the, the Nike Air on the back versus this one having the Jordan Air on the back. Don't mind the bottom of the shoe. I did wear these today in the rain and stuff. This doesn't say Nike on the bottom for the 2014s. It just says Jordan. Why this one on the bottom says Nike. And the inside of the shoe is a Jordan sign. Bam. Hold on, I'm moving shoe strings out the way. The inside is a Jordan sign for the 2014s. Inside of these bad boys for the 2022 has a Nike Air sign in it, which I personally like. The tab, it's an actual Nike tab, Nike Air. So these are fresh, y'all. I'm glad I was able to get a few pairs of these. Um, oh, I almost, I almost didn't realize that. So if you look at the heel, the heel part here, excuse me. If y'all look at the heel, you see those, 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 uh, all those holes. And look at this one, how it kind of like blends in. You don't see all that. That's pretty cool. Small little details, you know, small little details. Excuse me. So that's pretty cool. 
you know so there you have it me personally obviously i'm gonna love the ogs better but i still rock with these and i'm still gonna wear these you know probably clean them up uh i see a little yellow in here from the age i might restore that but i'm starting to get i'm starting to like a little bit of the age material naturally not dunking it in like coffee to make it look older than it, what it is I like it. I like when some of them, not all, but some of my kicks age naturally. They give it that natural age look and it just adds character to the shoe. It's really nice, you guys. All right. So, not too much going on. Just did a quick pickup today, you guys. Uh, really, really fun day. Aside from me not getting my whole packaging with, MB, uh, with, with 2K. Um, I do want to talk about the playlist of this game, you know. I know we talk about sneakers on this on this channel a lot, and I was looking at the uh, the playlist for for the music that I have on here. <sighs> eh, me personally, I don't buy a video game to like listen to the music. You know, at least not not a sports game. But to me, I'm gonna say the playlist for this for on, on this game is okay. Um, I don't have the list in front of me. I looked at it the other day, but the last video game I played that actually had a really good playlist on it was Grand Theft Auto 5, y'all. Grand Theft Auto 5 was, that playlist in that game was, they did, they did good on that. Like I said, I'm not dumping on this, saying that the playlist is bad on this, because it's not, I, I just feel like, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it's okay. You know what I mean? And shout out to all of the guys that got their music playing on this game, you know. That's uh that's a pretty big deal getting your getting your getting your, getting your music in a video game, you know, so it's okay. But I just feel like GTA 5 was the last game that I played that had a crazy playlist. You know what Madden, the new Madden this year doesn't have a, a bad playlist either. But that's just again, again, that is just my humble opinion, you guys. Other other people that 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 likes to pay attention to things like that, they might have a different opinion. Some others might share the same opinion. Who knows? But I'm not gonna talk you guys' heads off. I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just want to reiterate: if you guys are following me on Instagram and if you follow my homeboy on Instagram, stay tuned. Yes, that free rifle is definitely going down this week. And then, like he said, after that, we're gonna be doing a buy-in raffle. So it should be pretty fun. Uh, I got a pair of sneakers that I'm gonna be giving away. I'm not telling y'all which pair. You gotta tune into the live to see which pair and see if you are gonna be the lucky winner. And um, I don't know, I might throw two pairs in there. You know, I gotta check and see what I got in stock, you know, that I, that I could afford to just let go. You know, it's just something we wanna give away to you guys as a thank you for strong support, you know. Just keep sharing the content, you know, we trying to build these followers, we trying to build this page. I would love when my YouTube get monetized one day, you know, that's definitely going to be a dream come true. Until next time, stay blessed, stay fresh, love your loved ones like it's no tomorrow. Catch y'all again on the next one. Peace.